Good morning, grade fours. For maths today, we're going to recap some addition and subtraction HDU sums. We're going to start off with addition. Our first sum is 267 plus 422. The first thing we need to do is we need to write down our HDUs at the top. So our TH stands for thousands, our H stands for hundreds, our T stands for tens, and our U stands for units. The next thing we need to do is we need to place our numbers exactly underneath their values. So we've got 267, which means we've got seven units, six tens, and two hundreds, plus 422, which means we've got two units, two tens, and four hundreds. So let's add it up. Seven units plus two units will equal to nine units. Then we've got six tens plus two tens, which equals to eight tens. And then we've got two hundreds plus four hundreds, which equals to six hundreds. Our answer is therefore 689. Please remember to write down your answer next to your sum at the top. Our next sum is 579 plus 315. Now remember, the first thing we need to write down is our HDU. Then we need to place our numbers underneath their values. So let's have a look. Nine units plus five units equals to 14 units. But we can't just write down 14 underneath the units we need to carry our tens over to the tens. So instead of just writing 14, you're going to carry your one ten over, which means you have four units left. Now, one ten plus seven tens equals to eight tens, plus another one ten, which is nine tens. Then we've got five hundreds, plus three hundreds, which equals to eight hundreds. Our answer is therefore 894. Now it's time for you to practice. Your sum is 372 plus 255. Remember to write down your HDU at the top. And then placing your numbers underneath the correct value. Okay, I would like you guys to pause this video here and try and work it out on your own first. Okay, let's see what we've got. So, two units plus five units equals two, seven units. Then we've got seven tens plus five tens, which equals to 12 tens. But once again, we can't just write down 12 tens. So let's look at it at another way. Let's say we've got a basket full of bananas. So we've got 10 bananas in one row and we've got 12 rows. This means we've got 12 tens. So let's count how many bananas we actually have. We're going to count in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. This means we can carry our 100 over to the hundreds. So when we carry it over, we're going to write plus one underneath our hundreds. Now let's see how many tens we have left. 10, 20. This means we've got two tens left. Okay, 100 plus 300 equals two, four hundreds, plus another two hundreds, which will give us 600s. So our answer is 627. 
Okay, let's go over to subtraction. Our first sum is 857 minus 423. Once again, we're going to write down our HGU at the top and we're going to place our numbers underneath their values. Now, seven units take away three units gives us four units. Then five tens take away two tens gives us three tens. Then we've got eight hundreds take away four hundreds will leave us with four hundreds. So our answer is four hundred and thirty four. Our next sum is 983 minus 254. We're going to start off by writing our HG at the top and placing our numbers underneath their values. Now, this is kind of a tricky one. Three units take away four units. Now let's say you have three apples. If you have three apples, you can't give your friend four apples because you don't have enough. So if we don't have enough, we're going to go and borrow from the tens. If we take one ten away from the eight tens, that leaves us with seven tens. And if we put our one ten with our three units, it's going to give us 13. So now we have 13 apples, take away four, will give us nine units. Then we've got seven tens, take away five tens, which leaves us with two tens. Then we have nine hundreds, take away two hundreds, which gives us seven hundreds. Our answer is therefore 729. Okay, it's time for you to practice. Your sum is 571 minus 124. Once again, write down your HG at the top and place the numbers underneath their values. Please pause this video again and try and work this out on your own. Okay, let's see what we've got. So, we've got one unit take away four units. So once again, you've got one strawberry. You can't give your friends four strawberries because you only have one. So, you don't have enough. That means you need to go and borrow from the tens again. Okay, so if we take, or if we borrow one ten from our seven tens, that's going to leave us with six tens. If we add a 10 to our one unit, we're going to have 11 strawberries. Now, if you have 11 strawberries and you want to give your friend four of those strawberries, you will have seven strawberries left. In other words, you're going to have seven units. Then six tens take away two tens will leave you with four tens. And then lastly, five hundreds take away one hundred will leave you with four hundreds. Our answer is therefore four hundred and forty-seven. Now it's time to apply your knowledge. Let's have a look. You are going to go and complete this addition and subtraction worksheet for me. Now, each question counts three marks. It says, use the HGU method to work out the answers of the following story sums. Marks will be given for your working out answer and answer sentence. Number one, Bonnie read a book for 157 minutes on Wednesday. It then took her 221 minutes to finish the book on Thursday. How many minutes did it take her to read the book? Now, once again, 
for this question, you need to write down your answer. You need to work it out with your HDU method and you need to remember to write down your answer sentence. Number two, Johnny has 149 color pencils. He misplaced 26 of them. How many color pencils does he have left? Number three, Molly is, write, sorry, Molly is writing a book. She wrote 4,360 words last month. She wrote another 2,385 words this month. How many words did she write during these two months? And then our last sum is an extension sum. Number four, there were 46 balls on the playground. 20 were soccer balls and 15 were rugby balls. The rest were tennis balls. How many tennis balls were there? Okay, and that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Have a lovely day.